It's a very poised and relaxed team right now, a lot different than they were against Pittsburgh. That's a very good point, one we're about to address, Bobby. So Bergenheimer is from Finland, skates on a line that has a Harvard graduate, uh, going from in Dominic Moore last year with the Habs, and also a daredevil in Dangerous Steve Downey. What a combination. Of, they have really come through in the first couple of rounds of this playoff. Well, speed and tenacity and just work ethic. They're always on the same page, and their work ethic is just unbelievable. Sean Bergenheim has been all over the ice. He's on the puck, first on the four check. His work ethic is just unbelievable. you got to go to the hard areas to score, and as you see with that line, and Downey, who we know, every time he's on the ice, the opposing team is worried about him, where he is, because you never know what he's going to do, if he's going to hit you or not, and that's what makes this line so successful. And Dominic Moore has just been nothing short of He's a pain in the rear end for the other team. <laughs> to say the least, I think all three of them are together. I mean, they hold on to the puck. Their offensive skills are really coming out. I mean, I think as, as the regular season, we saw them, you know, really... Uh, you know, uh, they were they were good defensive, but I think in the playoffs here, they're the guys that are scoring the big goals for them. And the numbers have you know, speak for themselves. That line is really uh, dominated. Uh, they're third and fourth lines so in both series now. So hopefully they can keep it going, but uh, the work ethic is, uh, is they're leading by example. Uh, Tampa Bay wins game one, 4-2. Uh, game two on Sunday, 3-2 in overtime. Game one was a pyrrhic victory for you lost the services of both Simone Gagne along with Pavel Kabina, the defenseman, and that has been the roster for the Bolts. Neither will play tonight. Oh, these are big guys, and you never want to see this happen ever in hockey. He could be back with just a tough hit. He couldn't protect him. Something you want to stop. You don't want this happening. I mean, that's a suspendable offense. Well, I mean, both, both are, you know, concussions, and that, that's just been a hot topic in the NHL right now. Like, that's where you need it. You're going to run into. Uh, they've had that. Uh, you're adding a, a, a Randy Jones, you know, in, in place of Pavel Alcabina. And obviously, he's done a very good job by just stepping into that lineup. Death brings us to the uh, two men that stepped up for Gagne and Cabina. Blair Jones, along with the defenseman Randy Jones. Bruce Boudreau called the game winning goal in overtime a bad line change for him. It was the greatest moment. Prior to that, uh, Blair Jones' career, the rookie in his first postseason, and a tremendous pass out of Randy Jones and his first playoff game of this postseason. Well, what started this whole goal off was the work of that fourth line of Blair Jones. Each guy that comes into that lineup, whether you're going to play five or six, or you're going to play 25 or six, you really got to contribute. But when you look at that goal, I mean, they got the puck all the way to the red line, which is the right thing to do, but the, the Lightning definitely took advantage of it. I think it was a great, smart play by Randy Jones, throwing it up the ice and recognizing that they weren't hustling off on a line change. And it's, uh, it's you, we've seen it happen in the playoffs a lot. That, uh, that second period where you get that long change, you're going to get burned on. Uh, ten days ago, Blair Jones is playing for Norfolk against Wilkes Bar. He takes them. dangerous. You can't take them lightly. No matter how, uh, if they're down 0 2, they still have capability of coming back in this series. Uh, there is a lot of pressure on them. Uh, you know, they're, they've made some deals with the deadline two years in a row now to get players, to get them over the top here in the, in the, in the uh, playoffs, and it hasn't happened for them yet. So. Uh, I'm looking at them going to be coming out with a very strong game tonight. Yeah, is he trying to do too much? That was the rap on him a year ago. Oh, he's trying to take the team on his back, but I think, you know, that he's just running into too many players. The one three run is frustrating. Oh, the blue balls, so you suck. Guy. You can't beat four guys. I don't care who you are. You're not going to be able to go through everybody. He's trying hard, but uh, right now they're, they're shutting him down. Now they got to try and surf the blue wave here. Well, survived, rock the red. Now it's the blue wave. It'll be interesting to see how Tampa Bay plays. They have admitted to being tight in games gone by. Half the roster had never appeared in the postseason prior to this year against the Pens. Here is Guy Boucher on the key to Tampa Bay, managing their emotions against Ovechkin and the Caps going for a third straight win. Let's a couple of tickets to a lucky fan. It'll be fantastic. And we'll get you upstairs, Rick and the Chiefs. Standing by to break down the penalty. That's ahead.